All right, welcome everyone to this week's Wi-Fi Wednesday. My name is Kevin Z. I am founder and CEO of My Wi-Fi Networks, and we meet here on Facebook Live and Zoom each and every week to talk about the latest and greatest in Wi-Fi marketing. And uh, in the last little bit, uh, I've been working on a whole bunch of new things on the back end, so I don't have too many features to share with you this week. Uh, primarily, we did launch the Spanish version of the platform. We launched the SMS additional fields. And if you ever, ever want to see what the latest updates are in our platform, uh, here's how you do it. I'm just going to open up a new window here. And you go to mywifinetworks.com. I'm going to just load up here. And you can click on updates right over here. And apologies, my computer is running super slow today. But if you click on that, you're going to get a pop up or a little left uh, right hand toolbar that pulls out that talks about all the new features that we have in the system. And here it's loading up. So you can see localization is here. We launched that not too long ago uh, in Spanish. Uh, and if you scroll, you can actually see all the new options that we have here. Uh, with links in some cases to the support guide of how to actually set that up. So we have a whole bunch of new stuff. Uh, if you haven't seen us in a while, if you're new to Wi-Fi Wednesdays for a bit, go check this out. If you've been with us for a while, I'm um, joining these every week, then you know uh, what I'm talking about. And that being said, uh, I know that uh, I talked last week about um, our boot camp and offering some marketing materials. Now that is still on. We are going to be uh, launching that shortly. Uh, so if you're interested in that, please contact our support team. Uh, however, I am going to be offering, I already have shared a whole bunch of new sales presentations for everybody. So I don't want to uh, kind of limit some of the, the decks or anything that we have to help you sell. Um, I want to kind of give that to everybody who's, uh, who has access to the dashboard to go in and use all of that really good content. So let me just walk you through really quickly on what is there and uh, how to make sense of it all because I added a whole ton of stuff. Um, I know last week I talked about just a few presentations, but I've since added a whole lot more uh, in there. So let me pull it up and show you. Just pulling it up off my screen and I'll have that for you in just a sec. Wow, my computer's super slow. Time for a reboot. Anyways, this is uh, what the new layout looks like. So you can see um, there's everything's been kind of been reorganized. So we have guides. I'm just going to go through each section here quickly. So we have all the guides of how to step find your first clients, how to find target markets, how to sell to social media consultants, how to target different businesses uh, that have Wi-Fi. Some of this content similar to what's already in the academy, but this is put into a format where you can repurpose it and copy and paste it and bring it to your, uh, you know, to your own uh, sales team or, or support staff. Here as well, we have the Wi-Fi site survey checklist. Whoa. Sorry, sorry guys, just a bit slow here. Uh, and this site survey checklist is anytime you're doing an install, these are the steps that you should go through just to really make sure that you checked all the boxes and understand exactly what is involved when selling uh, to this client. That's under the guides section. Under images, uh, we have all of the images that we've had before, but now they're all been organized into, that's really strange. Maybe it's a Google uh, issue. I'll try to refresh this page. See, seeing that the, uh, Google is encountering issues, so just give it a sec. But either way, here's where you find it. I just encourage you to browse through it all, go check it out because we have a ton of new stuff in there. Um, let me try something else here. Oof. Google's having some issues here. All right, hopefully that's uh, it just figured itself out. I 
And if not, I really don't want to waste your time in watching my page load. So I encourage you to go into the members area, go where all the files are, the file downloads, members area downloads. Inside there, you can see all of the new content inside this members area. And hopefully it's back now. So let me just jump over to what's new. Uh, a lot of the other stuff, we've like kind of um, reorganized a lot of sections, but the big area that is new is under presentations. And again, I'm getting a server error from Google. Let's just really hope that's the last one. Otherwise, uh, we're gonna cut it really short. Here we go. So we have, um, for example, those who have asked me, you know, we want to, we need some slides to talk about Wi-Fi growth or Wi-Fi stats or, or anything like that. Um, this is killing me here. This is Google delay. Hold on a sec. Okay, I'm going to do a final page load here. And if not, guys, I encourage you to go check it out. Client decks, we have three different presentations to sell. Features, we have all of our features laid out in different style presentations. And then in sales training, we have a ton of brand new stuff and I'm trying to get in there. It's not letting me. Here we go. So how to select your business model, how to get around common objections, full preview of how it works, how to present your solution, a walkthrough of our sales prospecting tools, the sales qualification questions, the questions you want to ask a client before you get started, how to sell to agencies step-by-step -step, or at least an overview of the setup and installation. You really want to uh, follow our support guides for that. If you're doing anything custom like, you know, Meraki Aruba or a cloud controller, follow our support desk. But this uh, really covers the high level of the setup and install. This is the whole sales process. Uh, somebody asked me today, you know, I, I need to find leads. So we even have a presentation where to find leads. And these are presentations available in PowerPoint and Google Slides. You can take them, clone them, chop them up, use whatever slides you want. And primarily, I hope you guys use these to train your sales team. And uh, if you guys want as well, type in the chat if you want me to do this. Uh, but we had the 30-day mobile challenge or sorry, the 30-day Wi-Fi challenge. And that 30-day Wi-Fi challenge, I know a lot of you, it helped you, you know, get started with your business and helped you get your feet on the ground, kind of helped give you that you know, quick strategy to get out there and get some traction. Do you guys want me to uh, put together a kind of an unbranded version of the 30 day Wi-Fi challenge, something that you guys can take to your sales team? So let's say, you know, you have a new sales rep who's starting, you can tell that sales rep, hey, look, I want you to take this 30 day Wi-Fi challenge and make your first sale in the first month. You can go so far as saying that if you don't close a deal in your first month, we're gonna have to have a review because you should be able to close a, a sale in your first 30 days here. And you can use this as kind of a motivational kickstart or guideline for your sales reps uh, of how to get started. So uh, if you guys, enough of you guys uh, comment on this video, um, I will uh, add that into the sales training uh, folder here as well. But for example, where to find leads, uh, this is a presentation that you can use to educate yourself or one that you can also use to educate your sales reps or your other agency clients. Uh, you know, I, the idea of selling the value of the solution, not selling the idea of Wi-Fi. Here are the benefits of offering Wi-Fi. Here are the industries to look at and the market opportunities. Um, here why, here's why local businesses and franchises benefit most from guest Wi-Fi. This is why they're desperate. These are the pains that they have. This here, here's how to identify the common pain points. For most local businesses, here's how many there are. So guys, go check this out. There's you know, thousands and thousands of businesses. Where do you find leads? On Maps or uh, on Yelp for a Wi-Fi search. Here's how you do those searches over here. You can also find new clients. Uh, and here's you know just a walkthrough of all the slides that I've used. Uh, if you're looking, hey, where do I find clients? Um, there's no lack of clients, right? There's literally no lack of people that you can call. Um, basically, any business looking to do the following. And, you know, that's just a short selection of slides that you guys can be a standalone or, you know, ultimately, I think the best thing is you want to go through and you want to cherry pick which slides resonate with you and your target and your audience. Just take the best slides from each of these sections here, create a new presentation for yourself. It's very easy, specifically when you go open with Google Slides. You don't even need PowerPoint. You don't need to download these files. You can actually just edit it natively right in Google. It's totally free. You can clone it, copy it, share it, embed it into your website all that fun stuff, and it is uh, really easy to do. You can see, I don't know if it's Google or me, but internet is really slow here today.
All right, well, that's uh, loading a bit slow, but anyways, you can open it up in Google Slides, let it open up in the background here. Um, but why businesses need it? Wi-Fi Advertising 101, essentially, you know, those who are looking to start a uh, Wi-Fi ad company, talks about the concept, what's involved. Um, you don't really sell it, you give this away for free. I mean, what do you mean? Like you give this for free, you drop it into a local business, say, hey, I'm gonna give this to you for free. In exchange, I'm gonna run ads. And usually they'll say, okay, that's great. Then you can sell ad space back to the location. You can sell exclusive sponsorships. Here's where you can make your money on the different uh, ad units, uh, the types of campaigns you can run, the concept of thinking that you can rent out the homepage of your Wi-Fi login, and you can take this and spread it around anywhere in the world. Uh, you can also talk about paid Wi-Fi, so another way to monetize using our Stripe integration. So you can use this after hours, conference centers, trade shows, tourist hotels, you know, places where they typically uh, pay for Wi-Fi. Uh, the different ad sponsorships that you can have, the different zones that you can pop in. So it's just a really good overview of, you know, a lot of the content that will help you explain to your clients, to your sales reps, to other people, exactly how all of this works, uh, including a few business models, some ideas about how to charge management fees, how to build your own network for free, how to sell back the guest data, how to sell event sponsorships, all that stuff is in Wi-Fi Advertising 101. Sales qualification questions, you know, questions to ask a local business owner that trigger pain points. Um, you know, how many guests, you have a special event. You have a lot of people come to your location for this special event, but how many of those guests actually come back? You know, maybe none of them. So here are the questions you need to ask. Uh, what social media channels do you use? Do you care about your Facebook page? How do you currently communicate with your customers? Do you currently have a system in place to track data, the gender, the date of birth, and repeat visits in your store? Do you currently leverage positive online reviews or have a strategy to get more of those? Do you currently collect email addresses? Because likely you don't have enough customers if you're like any other business, you don't uh, engage with your customers, you don't, you're not aware of your customers' needs, you don't know how to engage with them, if you, even if you do. Um, you want to improve social awareness, uh, and these are just a lot of like, you know, backup slides and extra content that you can use for your presentations. And I encourage you again to go through all of these. Uh, these are a lot of the slides that you can use for sales training, concept training. Uh, that's over here. If you go back a level and you go into client decks, I think you guys have seen the features already. Well, here are some client deck presentations that you can use. I'll show you the different ones. There's the retail deck. So this is the uh, deck that I presented at Collision at the event here in Toronto. Uh, 25,000 people were there. I didn't present to that many people, but uh, there were a lot of people in the room uh, or in the, in the, uh, on the stage area when I was presenting this. So this talks about you know, a general overview of the platform and how you can also obviously use this slide if you're selling indirect uh, or not direct to your clients. You're selling through white label channel distributors. If you're on our scale plan, then you can use this slide. Uh, we also have a discovery deck. So when you're first meeting with the clients, you really just want to do a quick discovery. You want to talk about, this is who we are. This is why uh, you need social Wi-Fi off the top. Here's how it works. Step one, we integrate with what you have. Step three, we collect all this data. And step three, we integrate, send all this data to stuff you're already using to automate all kinds of fun stuff. Here is the process we're right now analyzing, and then we're gonna design if you want us to go ahead, we'll deploy it on site and then we'll evaluate the results. Why choose us, here's why, let's get started. Usually they're like, yeah, that's great. You know, we need to get Bob and Jill in, in the room next time. And you know, can you give us a, another presentation and you know, actually give us a, a solution? And that's when you use this presentation, the closing deck, you go in there and you say, hey, all right, I understand everybody, all the decision makers are in the room here and you guys have the budget for this and you need it, you understand why you need it. So here's what you talk about. The objectives here solve the three pain points that you had in the previous pr presentation. So the first presentation you talk about why guess Wi-Fi, those are usually aligned to three specific pain points that, uh, that the, the client has. So not enough customers, I don't understand my customers, I have no idea where to start, I don't collect data, I don't have emails, whatever. So these three objectives are going to solve those problems. This is super important for it to be the first slide so that they're like, okay, you get us, you understand it, and you're going to solve our problems. This is not about Wi-Fi. This is about these three objectives, collecting data, engaging your guests, and engaging post-visit. Again, these three can be specific to what your customer tells you in that first discovery meeting. Then you repeat it for the new people in the room, perhaps, how it works, but this time you do it specific to them. So 
You create some previews. I just dropped these in over here uh, as samples, but you can very easily go in, generate a preview in our dashboard, do a screenshot of the login page, do a screenshot of the thank you page. It's really easy. We even preview that. We show you it when you're looking at campaigns. We even have the tabs. You click screenshot, click screenshot, pop these in, and that shows enough that you customized it. It looks like you actually got a design team involved. and In many cases, you didn't at all. So that allows you to uh, whip this up really quick. You talk about working with all your existing hardware and software. You have all these on one slide. You can even, I suggest actually, you only have the ones that they have. So after the first discovery call, if you know they use Meraki and Salesforce, only put the Meraki and Salesforce icons on this page. Okay, I put them all here because in case you need one of those, you can crop it out pretty easily. Uh, but you really only wanna have the ones that the, that's relevant to the clients. And this is again, the second presentation. This is not, uh, you know, you already know some things at this point. So you know the hardware that they use, you wanna select one of them from here, and you also know the software that they use. You could have you know, Facebook ads, Google ads, Infusionsoft, and whatever else you, know, you wanna include with the scope of what you're doing for them. You talk about the data that you're gonna be capturing even after discussing with them which login options they want. You can remove some of these as well. So you can just say, hey, okay, so we're gonna go ahead with the Facebook email and SMS opt uh, logins or Facebook Messenger because we wanna do bots, whatever. Uh, you can pop those in there. Uh, you can over here as well, be more specific about the types of automations you want to do, uh, but you may not as well, depending on the nature of the meeting or who's involved. You can also use this as a brainstorm because um, they're going to pay you for the strategy. You don't necessarily want to just come with the strategy, uh, you know, in your second meeting. You want to say, okay, if you pay us, we'll go ahead and we'll think of the best way to use these triggers and actions to get you the best results. You want to briefly educate them about Facebook ad retargeting. You don't necessarily want to do it on the first presentation, but the second one is definitely important because you want to let them know that you're going to build an audience from everybody that connects to Wi-Fi, and you'll be able to uh, retarget them after they leave your location. So that's huge. Uh, all these, as I should mention as well, are animated GIFs. So you'll see if I open this with Google Slides, hopefully this one loaded in the background. No, man, this is super slow. But I think maybe Google fixed it because I see it's loading faster here already. Yeah, here we go. So all these presentations, like I'm showing you like in, in presentation format, but in fact, everything is 100% editable. So, uh, and it, there's also, what I reason I want to show you this is that there are a lot of these images are actually animated GIFs. So it's really nice, they're good talking points. You can leave it on this slide and talk about, hey, if you guys have an app or you want to drive uh, some engagement, you can very easily do this. Excuse the sirens in the background, my window's open here. Uh, so here you can, um, you know, use these as you wish, um, use them well, um, because um, I've closed a lot of business with these exact slides and I hope you guys do too. So those are client decks. And then finally on the features section here, I might split this up because we have all features in this. It's like a super long presentation. And I'll just open this here with Google Slides to show you. But I think sometimes it's easier to have all slides in one giant presentation so that you can just open up one file, cherry pick exactly what you need and copy them out to a new deck that you put together for yourself. All right, so we have that. And while that's loading, I wanna show you the other stuff I have planned and primarily the stuff that I'm gonna be sharing uh, in the bootcamp. So you can see here, this is actually my, uh, my personal folders i have my new presentations still to share so i have this uh the 30-day wi-fi challenge for sales reps so you know this is what you do for every sales rep that's starting or even just record this and give it to them so that very similar to what i had and in fact i'm going to be pulling out a lot of the videos we had in the facebook group that kind of get drowned out there i'm going to be moving them to youtube so that you guys can go browse them easier at your convenience so you wanna do this for your sales reps. Look, if you give 100% effort for 30 days, you're gonna get clients or more clients guaranteed. Uh, you know, we made it easy and this is for you guys. Um, there's actually a better process there. It's just a preview here. So, you know, think about where you wanna be. This is your first time with the company, your first time selling it. Think about where you wanna be in 30, 30, 30. So 30 days, 30 weeks and 30 months from now. Write it down on a piece of paper and set your goals today. And here's a challenge, total focus. I kind of talk about brands to target, how to like figure out, hey, look, it's all about volume and numbers. The clients to look for, the fab clients, they want to, you want to be on Facebook, they have to be active, they have to have a budget. 
You'd want to avoid coin con clients, the ones that are cheap, old school, and needy. Don't waste your time with these clients. Starting with business that businesses that currently offer free Wi-Fi, and here's a little bit of a, a walkthrough. And you guys can beef these up as you need. This is designed to be short and sweet, but you have all those extra slides that you can take here and make this longer. Um, this talks about how to use different strategies, how to search, how to find local questions to ask business owners, collect the emails, not enough. So a lot of this is um, it's pieced together of the other slides that I showed you already. This is, again, you want to replace this slide with your portal. So you tell them, look, you guys can do previews at any time on your phone. Just type in you know, our preview or portal slash P slash Facebook name, and that will auto-generate everything. Um, you want to tell them about the sales CRM, how to use the Facebook generator, uh, you know, how to, uh, you know, a ninja mobile trick as well, how to convert, um, you know, short forms on your phone to get that uh, preview link. Uh, then you want to ask for the money, exactly what you want to ask for. And, you know, this is the training. You guys can obviously, you know, switch this up as you want. Um, this is all for you guys to have. And then in the boot camp, the stuff that I'm going to be going through is if you're like this is right from scratch so if you're starting a new business and let's say you're coming here as an entrepreneur and you don't even know where to start i talk about how to choose a company name what to look for in a name how to choose how to register a business name the importance of a logo uh, tips for creating logos and actually these don't look good because i look using a bad preview but if i open these up just to give you guys an idea let me just open up one of the larger ones to show you so let's say you know the presentation on online marketing strategies. So this is like, you know, once you have your uh, business set up, your website all set up, how do you market your business online? So just take a look at some of the stuff that's gonna be included in the bootcamp uh, with speaking notes as well. So you'll also have these slides. You can then do your own bootcamps to your own clients, um, how to drive traffic to your website using landing pages, calls to action and mobile forms, um, click throughs with the purpose and the goal, what is the lead capture squeeze page? So I explain what each of these items are and why you'd want to use each one of these items. Um, let's make this a bit larger here. So what is a call to action? Why you want to use a call to action? This is a lot of this is basic stuff. So you know, again, this is from the ground up, designed to you know, if you're just getting started, this is really really good stuff. If you're more advanced, you already have a business, you've gone through this, feel free to skip it. But I think there's a lot of good information here. Um, you know how to get listed in local directories, like the fact that you can get listed as a Wi-Fi marketing agency locally and optimize your agency for those keywords when people are looking for that in your area. Um, you'd be surprised how much traffic you'll get from it. How to be active in local blogs and internet forums. Um, what is SEO? Why SEO is important? Benefits of using SEO for your business, different SEO tools to use. Email marketing, why you wanna use it, why it offers value, the most important things to consider when using email marketing, how to develop a proper email marketing campaign step-by-step, step. tips for developing good email marketing campaigns, different tools to use. Obviously, um, we, there's a lot of other ones you can use, but just, just a few that we use. Um, what is PPC? Why do you want to use PPC? Different PPC tips. You know, so I, I could go on and on. Like there's, this is just a ton of stuff. Um, all designed to be like super high level. So I don't really go super deep into any one of these. This is just like checklists and things to consider. This is usually to like cross the T's and dot the I's in your business just to make sure that you have accounted for a lot of these things. So we talk about also how to automate your business, how to outsource, how to acquire customers, how to scale your business, how to overcome marketing challenges, how to build business relationships, um, fundamental stuff like how to close the deal. Like, you know, a lot of people don't know how to close deals. Like they'll, they'll, do a great presentation and then you'll go in there and you won't actually close the deal. So this actually goes through some, some selling processes, um, pre close questions, different closing methods and techniques, how to qualify prospects, uh, a lot of good stuff here. So I encourage you guys, uh, if you're serious about Wi-Fi, I did offer uh, the fact that you can get early access to the bootcamp if you sign up for the uh, annual uh, agency plan or uh, sorry, annual automate plan. Um, so I will still give you access if you are on that plan. So let me know if you're interested in that. Uh, but all those, a lot of those presentations are already right in the Google Drive section. So if you guys have any questions beyond this, please chat with our support team. Let us know. We are always here to help you. 
and uh, give us your feedback. If you guys want us to share or specifically want us to share some other stuff, please comment on this post on Facebook and uh, I see you guys uh, on the inside. I'll see you in the chat group. Take care, man. Take care, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.